internet is Dustin again with my HomeKit Home, continuing with our series here on automations in HomeKit. Today we'll be looking at automations based on when a time of day occurs. So these can be really useful for, well, setting things to happen at a specific time during the day. Well, anyway, we'll get into all of that during the video. If you find the video useful, please like, share, subscribe, and let's just, let's go for it. Here we are in Apple's Home app in the Automations tab, and we'll tap the plus button at the top right, and we'll choose the third option, a time of day occurs. Now we have a couple of different options for when the time of day is. Let's look at sunrise. So we can do it at sunrise, but we can also do it at 15, 30, and 45 minutes up to an hour before or after sunrise, which is pretty convenient. We can also do the same for sunset as well. Obviously, we can also choose a specific time during the day, which here we'll just set it to 430 for no particular reason other than if you look at the top of the screen there, you'll see that it's about an hour from the time that I'm recording this video. Next, we have the option of choosing how often this is repeated. Unfortunately, we only have the different days of the week. We don't have months or seasons or even years. Maybe this is something that'll come in iOS 13. But we can set schedules. We can set it just to weekdays. We can set it to just weekends. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Monday, Friday, etc., etc. Now, our people option is pretty useful, I think. We can choose to turn it off so it doesn't really matter who or who isn't home, but we can also choose to run this automation if somebody's home, if nobody's home, if the person who's setting up the automation is home, or if that person is not home. So that's pretty convenient as well. Though I would like to see maybe some options for controlling <laughs> other people. That's about it for our conditions. Now let's go ahead and look at our actions. So with our actions, it falls in line with all the other automations. We can choose between one or more scenes and one or more accessories in any combination that we would like. I'll go ahead and choose a couple of scenes here and then I'll choose a few accessories as well. Now that we have all of our actions set, uh, one thing I did want to mention here is that we can go in and kind of manipulate the scenes. It's a little bit strange. We can change the name of the scene, we can change the icon, we can change the state of the accessories within that scene, but we can't add or remove accessories from that scene, which is really strange. Um, then we have our standard you know, settings that we have for all of our individual accessories. We can, of course, test this automation. However, again, with any sort of condition-based automation, all it's going to test are the actions of that rather than the, con the automation itself because the conditions haven't been met yet. We can also turn off automatically any accessories that were turned on through the automation from one, two, three, four, five minutes, and then in five minute increments up to one hour after the automation has run. And once we're satisfied with our automation, we'll tap that on the top right. And as you can see, it has been added here to our list of automations. And tapping on it, it brings up the usual suspects. We can enable and disable the automation. We can also tap on our condition, our win condition, and bring up all of those settings. We can, again, go back into our scenes and our accessories and make our finite adjustments there. We can also test the automation. We can change our turn off scenario there. And we can also delete the automation if we so choose. And that's really about it for the automation settings. If we go back to the automations list, we can, of course, swipe left on any of the automations to delete them. However, with this one, I do recommend that you're a bit careful because if you swipe too far, then it just goes away and there is no turning back. So as you can see, these automations, again, are really useful. We can use them not only just to schedule things at certain times, but what we can also do is we can really start to 
have some security features installed. All right, so we can have, when nobody is home, we can have different lights turn on at different times. It's a little bit complicated, and we do wish that it was a little bit easier to do something like that. Maybe if Apple had some scene, some automated scene that says, okay, I'm not home. Turn the lights on at different times, and this might really work for us there. But we can do it here. I use mine just to turn off the lights at different times during the day, just to make sure that I'm not wasting excess energy. Really. They're also really great for helping you to wake up in the morning or to go to sleep. You know, keep your circadian rhythms in check. It's a really good way that we can use these automations. Well, that about does it for today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below in the comment box right down there. Right? There's also a little red button that you can press that will subscribe you to the channel so you'll get notified whenever we release a new video. It's about twice a week. I'm trying to do anyway. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I have a life. Sorry. Um, if you want to check us out and follow us on social media, you can do that by looking us up at My Home Get Home. You can also check out the blog at myhomegethome.com. And that's about it for today. Until next time, this has been Dustin for My Home Get Home. really useful for lots of different things if you want to have Bruno the dog is a dog he likes to interrupt things because he can't come in you should subscribe you should probably do that now there's a little red button I think it's there or it's there just do it, it doesn't cost you anything it's free